Hi guys, today I am going to be showing you a tutorial on how to don't code sign your apps, homemade apps in Xcode in Xcode 3.2 and 4.0. You will need a jailbroken device for this. Okay, so what you want to go and do is, okay, well I'm going to make an app just to kind of simulate what your app will look like. Um, so I'll just quickly create one. Okay, and in one of my old tutorials, I've been showing how to do this for an older one, an older type of Xcode, um, but this doesn't really work anymore. So you switch it to device because you're building for a device and you have to right click on your project and click get info and then scroll down a little bit until you see um, iPhone developer and you have to set this to don't code sign. In the older Xcode, this would do it, but you have to do something else now. So, yeah, um, you should get an error here. You should get code signing error. You require one or something. So that's meant to happen. Okay, so now you're going to have to go to your Macintosh HD, Developer, Platforms, oh, iPhone OS, Developer, um, SDKs and then you have to pick the one you're building for so I'm going to pick 4.0 right now because I'm building it for iPhone um, now here you will see a file, a playlist called SD setting, SDK settings playlist and what you're going to want to do is make a new uh, window um, and go to your desktop and make a new folder and call that whatever you want and you're going to want to copy and paste the um, the settings SDK thingy into here and you want to double click to open it okay uh, you want to click the little triangle next to the default properties and set code signing required to no now this has to be in block capitals otherwise it won't work um and then yep yeah, hang on then what you're going to want to do is save that to yeah just save it and replace the one you've just there okay and whatever okay now drag this into the folder where your other one is the original is and click authenticate replace it and enter your password i think Okay, um, now you can close them. Now make sure you quit Xcode before you um, before you try and build again. Okay, so you're done. Um, so now you can build for your device. Make sure it's set to device. Um, please rate, comment and subscribe if you like my videos. And thanks for watching. See ya.